I forgot what I need to do. No, wrong. I forgot. Oh my no. Exploded. Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna review a game called Diffuse for Merge Cube and this is my Merge Cube and it already detected it. So, yeah. So, let me just show you that. Uh, let me just block it for a second. So this is my Merge Cube over there, you see? Now it detects the markers and it positions the game on top of it. So this is Diffused. Now the goal here is uh, to diffuse a bomb, so you can look at the entire uh, cube as a bomb device. And the user gets instructions before each level, and uh, they need to uh, activate switches, push specific buttons, and cut uh, colored wires in order to diffuse uh, this holographic bomb. Now what's the problem? Okay, the problem is that there's a timer. A countdown timer and if it reaches zero the bomb explodes now this is not all you get a punishment for each mistake this means that if you make a mistake you get a reduction uh, of time uh, from the timer uh, for every mistake that you make uh. now there are how to play instructions uh, that you can read uh, before you begin playing but let's jump uh, straight to the action and see how it plays all right, let's start and play and see how it goes. Disconnect, okay, I have a task here, all right? And then I need to start. Disconnect all of the purple wires. So when I'm ready, if I'm ready, I need to press ready and start. Disconnect all the purple wires. So let's go. Ready. Oh, I need to put the cursor on it. Ready. Purple. Disconnect all purples. All purples. Oh, purple. This one. Come on. And yeah, completed. Now this was just the first level and I just got only one task. Now the higher the level, the more tasks that you have. So now right now I have two tasks as you can see. And it gets more complicated and more complicated the more you progress. Um, number five, five switches. Uh, activate and disconnect yellow wires. Let's start. Uh, begin. Oh, I think you need to do it in order. All right. I need to put it closer. Five. I think now we can do this. Yes. Come on, come on, no time. Oh, we did it. Oh, this was intense. Now, holding the cube and trying to uh, put the cursor in an exact position, uh, it's a bit, a bit hard uh, with the merge cube. I mean, it's not that super accurate unless you have uh, very steady hands. But uh, in this case, it actually works in favor of it because it feels like uh, you are trying to defuse an actual bomb. Not that I have experience, at least I'm just basing on movies. But if you play, you see that many of the switches are sometimes very close to each other. And, you know, sometimes you can just uh, press or, or cut the wrong wire or push the wrong button by mistake. So here, steady hands will work in your favor. Just make sure that you are doing it in the right sequence, because if not, it won't work. And you're going to make a mistake and it will cause you to lose time. I forgot what I need to do. No, wrong. I forgot! Oh my no! Exploded! Yeah, that can happen. And I failed. And a lot. And the reason for it, it's not, it's not just, you know, me trying to remember the exact sequence. The music! The music keeps things very intense. And when you hear this music, like, you know, uh, you, know you feel that the end is coming and you just forget about things. So yeah, uh, this is part of the game. And, uh, you know, it actually it's a good thing because it also... Um, uh, helps you understand how much time is left and which is good because you probably need to hurry up before the bomb explodes. I need to put it closer. 
So, this is the last one. All right, that's completed. All right, moving on, level two. Something simple, please. Activate all of the number five switches. Activate all of the number three switch. Okay, so activate five and three, let's go. Now there's another thing that makes it harder to solve uh, some of the tasks and is, you see the numbers? So sometimes you just uh, rotate the cube in a way that the numbers appear like you're viewing them from the sides or down uh, from down to the uh, upper part and it's very hard to understand which number it is. And this means that you need to hold it in the right way. And that adds more rotations and more time loss. And yeah, it makes it harder to solve each level. Ah, come on. Again. Now, I don't know how it would be for you, but I stuck at level three for so long. I was so frustrated. I mean, I don't know why. I just, you know, had a hard time remembering things under pressure. But after some time that I, you know, got used to it, I start remembering. And I think I just need to have this mindset of uh, being able to solve things when there's a timer ticking, you know, and, and not get confused. And it takes time, but I actually got uh, got it, I mean, after like playing the game for like 15, 20 minutes straight. Three. Green. Wow, there's a three. Oh, no, wait, no. The numbers are upside down, maybe I missed some. I, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I'm embarrassed to even write my name. I, I even embarrassed to write my initials there. Oh my but that's God. okay. This yeah. is part of the fun of the game. It's challenging. Yeah, and it's kind of a memory game uh, that you need to, uh, uh, to use but you know under pressure so again this is actually a good thing and I like the games um, being challenging and not that easy and of course you can just do level one and two and you know this is easy but of course if you progress the game is going to put some harder challenges and it's up to you to solve them now the game looks really sleek really nice I like the visuals very simple but you know it looks good um, you know in some ways I said to myself, you know, it would be more interesting if uh, maybe uh, each uh, level look a bit different, even the device look a bit different. So you are now uh, trying to diffuse uh, a new type of bomb, so it, it wouldn't look the same all the time. But over it wasn't a big problem, but something that, you know, I wish it was a bit different. Now here you can see me taking on level 3, and trust me, it wasn't hard for me to solve this. So just take a look and see. I eventually solved this, so let's take a look. Now pink, right? All right. Oh no, so there's another pink. Come on, come on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That means the wires? No, we did it! We didn't win the wires, I thought it's gonna use the buttons. Oh my god, we did it! Now, here I'm trying uh, level four. I mean, to remember four distinct tasks and do execute it one after the other. So let's see how it goes for me. Disconnect all of the red wires. Red wires disconnect. Red is bad, disconnect. Okay. Activate all of the number three switches. So yeah, in order to solve it, I need to like um, remember it in a, in a way. So for in this way, um, a specific level, I said that red is bad. So it was easier for me to remember the sequence. Uh, you know, I just need to make something in my mind that helps me remember the sequence uh, in the right order. It wasn't easy, trust me. Uh, let's see how it goes. Six. Okay, we got okay. Now red wires. Where, where are the red wires? Come on, come on. Disconnect. No red wires. Oh, no red wires. Okay, three switches. 
connect three switches. All right, come on. All right, good. And now yellow. Oh, come on. What? Yellow. What? I'm missing something? Oh! oh yeah, we did it! I can't believe we did it! No way level 5, no way. This was too much for me. So yeah, when you're doing something really hard, you know, uh, it's very gratifying after you able to finish it eventually. And this was uh, in this case of uh, level 4. If you noticed know previously, sometimes uh, um, the app loses tracking of the markers on the cube, on the merge cube, and you just see the cube instead of seeing the virtual content that it's augmented on top of it. And the reason in this case is because, um, you know, I can't see the text very clearly when I put the, the cube a bit far away from my phone. So um, I just put it closer and sometimes when you put it too close, um, you know, uh, it loses tracking. So it's not something that, you know, uh, most of you will notice. And, and in general, it works uh, very accurately, uh, accurately, but, you know, sometimes I just lost tracking because I put it uh, very close to the camera. Now I want to see you trying to do this, trying to finish level five. Remember five tasks and do it in order. This is really hard. You have, you know, a bit less than one minute. And again, every mistake that you make, the game punishes you for that and reduces uh, seconds from the overall time that you have. Pink, 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 pink. No! Three. Oh, and no. No, three. Oh my god. What a mess. Three. Oh no, I made so many mistakes. Yes, you did. And plenty of them, I have to say. But again, this is hard. This is... <laughs> it's a bit funny me. But it's hard. It's hard to remember five sequences. Sometimes with numbers, sometimes you need to de uh, activate, deactivate. And, you know, it's very hard. And it's not easy to recognize things under pressure, I'm telling you. If you're able to solve level five, please comment in this comment section below and tell me, you know, you know if you did it. I'm. I, this is really hard. This is hard. Now, if you want to read the full review, uh, uh, the text review, you can find it on my blog. Uh, it was written back in January uh, in 2018. Um, but yeah, this is a um, diffuse uh, game. It's a really fun game and it really works well for the Merge Cube. Well, well designed for the Merge Cube. And, uh, you know, it's very addicting, fun and challenging. Uh, it will cause you some frustration at times. Overall, it's a fantastic little game and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So make sure you download it and give it a try. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell me if you want more videos of me reviewing merch games and apps. And don't forget to follow me on the social networks. I put links in the description below. Until again, guys, thank you so much for your support. Uh, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.